Welcome back to Tech Tech. I'm Adam Housley in Los Angeles. You know, there's increased danger when you have this great technology out there. They can do amazing things, but also can put weapons, for example, like underwater bombs, more undetectable and, of course, threatens U.S. security and, for that matter, security for our allies. Here to talk about how to alleviate this problem, Fox Firepower columnist and also the defense specialist, Allison Barry. You can find the article up on uh, foxnews.com right now which is called Extremely Deadly Defeat for Underwater Bombs. Uh, Allison, uh, this it seems like it's a technology to let us seek out these threats. Uh, yes, it's, I love, there's a lot of things I love about this, Adam, and you really, uh, you really put it in a nutshell. We hear a lot about, you know, we talk about lasers, we talk about real guns, we love to talk about that stuff. Um, this doesn't have the same razzle-dazzle jazz hands, but so terribly important because when we think about it, when you think about the United States and our geography, we're very vulnerable along our coastlines. We've got a lot of coastlines. So I'm always really pleased to see when people are still persevering and innovating, even though the budgets, those generous budgets aren't there anymore, there are still people out there innovating to try to keep both our civilian population safe as well as our military. So the concept here is called the sea wasp. Are you familiar with the sea wasp? I, I wasn't, Adam. You're out there in a beautiful location by the water, so you might be more familiar. No, not, not really. And I, I'm curious. To, tell me about that because I have a follow-up question once you tell me about the sea wasp. Uh, I know a little bit about it, but not enough to, to talk about it other than to ask you questions. <laughs> I think uh, it's the blind leading the blind a bit here, but uh, I was fascinated. I kind of got a little sidetracked and dug, dug into it a bit. It's essentially, it seems to me like a big jellyfish. I'm, I'm oversimplifying probably, but uh, people are terrified of it because it can wrap. It has these massive 10-foot-long tentacles. Uh, it's like something prehistoric, you know. Uh, it's a sea monster. It wraps its tentacles around you, shoots you, injects you with this terrible venom, and you die within three minutes. So the concept, I love it when the, the name matches the device. The concept here is let's be as lethal and put down threatening bombs as quickly as possible just like this sea wasp. So I, I love the idea. This doesn't, have, this doesn't have tentacles, but it does have a robotic arm. So basically it goes down, finds the underwater threat, and then diffuses it by poking it or blowing it up itself. Yes. So right now, uh, what happens is we have very brave men and women, EOD divers, who go down. When we identify there's a bomb and we think there might be a threat, they investigate, they assess, and then they take care of it. Uh, clearly, that puts them at a very high risk. So what can we do? How can we leverage advances in technology to make them a bit safer, right? Uh, so they're not putting their lives directly on the line. Uh, so the idea is that from a safe distance, it could be a vessel, it could be the shore, Adam. Uh, they're able to communicate with this robot and direct it to find a device. They can see through the, the cameras on the arm uh, and through other sensor suites, lots of information and data about the device from a safe distance make the decisions and that let the robot do the work right there, hands-on, taking care of the device. They pull the robot back up to the surface or back to the beach. Uh, again, the robot set a safe distance, and then they detonate or handle the bomb uh, appropriately. There's lots of different ways it can be done. Right. So I guess this is in response to the increased threat with underwater bombs. I know that we talked about uh, a few weeks ago the, the ability of drones potentially to set these things underwater and be pretty undetectable or close to be un undetectable. So it's almost like a, an IED that we deal with on the land is what, for people at home that may not be in complete understanding what's, what an underwater bomb is. Absolutely. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's a great point. Let's, I should give a little bit of context here. We do talk a lot about uh, landmines. We hear about IEDs, those horrible, horrific IEDs. They're unfortunately a very popular weapon of choice for our adversaries. We hear a lot about them in land wars all over the world, right, in our war zones. But we don't hear as much about the fact that you can also mine water. Uh, we could be talking about riverways. We could be talking about ports. We could be talking about open ocean. It could be floating. It could be tethered. It could be uh, on the seabeds. There's lots of different ways you can do it. So uh, a similar horrific concept. What we really want to do is make sure that this is not, we're seeing a lot of these tactics migrate from the war zones to our homeland, sadly. Uh, we don't want to see this right. tag, my, tactic migrate over here and not be prepared for it. So this technology is so incredibly effective. I, I love the fact that we're keeping, keeping our personnel safer while still getting the job done. And when we think about the threat, um, just to drill it down a bit, you're thinking about, say, our marinas, right? Like picture sailboat marinas, picture uh, beach right. areas with civilians going to the beach. Uh, our ports, right? We rely on our ports for our maritime trade. We want to keep all these things safe. So uh, God forbid uh, an adversary diver goes in, affixes something to a ship hull, puts something on a marina. You have that beautiful Santa Monica out there, uh, Adam. You know, what you don't want is the devices put down there and not a way to take care of them. So this is an incredibly right. powerful way to deal with it. Really fast, because we're out of time. Yeah. Um, are they in use? 
Uh, right. So they're going to be tested. There's three different teams testing them. You've got FBI, you've got Navy. For the next 10 to 12 months, they're going to be um, playing with them, have a go with them, uh, refine them, get some feedback, and make them as powerful as possible. Uh, so I'll loop back with you, Adam, when we get some feedback from them. Sounds good. We went underwater a few years ago and did live shots with the underwater threat team in the LA Harbor. Oh, I uh, Pretty that. cool stuff, and I'm sure they will love to have this technology as well. All right. I've got to Google that. Barry, uh, Sounds the, good. Yep, Fox, it's pretty good stuff. The live shot underwater, that was definitely That's different. Uh, Fox Firepower columns up right now. You can see it on foxnews.com. Uh, the Sea Wasp will be, point, will be a potent threat to terrorists and their underwater bombs. All right, Allison Barry, appreciate you joining us from New York. Thanks for having me, Adam. All right, I'm Adam Housley in Los Angeles, and you're watching Tech Take.